Michael Jefferson, he's a big guy, and I don't want him mad at me, but I would put him in the category of villain. And I'm not sure he's aware that he's a villain. Clearly, he's a physical threat if we do big physical challenges, but we're gonna have challenges that are fair for men and women. So I'm not sure that Mike's physical strength will be as big an asset early on as it might have been in a normal season. So he's gonna have to work on those social skills a bit. Kim is somebody that I think everybody's gonna root for. Sure, I'd love a million dollars, but honestly, I just wanna play big. I wanna go and have a hell of a time. She's the all-American woman who is attractive and nice and loyal and seems like she has a real backbone but is also very bright. She has a leadership quality but I think she knows that the way to play the game is let somebody else lead. I think Kim will be somebody that people want to go deep in the game. A lot of guys will have a crush on and she could walk away with the money. Right off the bat, women are gonna like Jay. He's clearly an attractive guy. The women on our crew, they can't wait for him to show up at a challenge. He reminds me of Bobby John, somebody who played the game a long time ago, who was very likable, very hardworking, and I think Jay is going to go deep. I'm definitely a schemer on the low, somebody that's gonna try to fly under the radar. Jay is gonna come across as the laid back country boy, but I think he knows exactly what he's doing. The thing I like most about Kat is the one thing that might get her in trouble. She speaks, before she thinks. I said it was my bad. She doesn't hesitate to say what's on her mind, and I think sometimes she'd probably be better off if she sat on it for a second and just let it go. Very fit, likable, young, and I think there's enough other young women that she could find herself in a good alliance. Bill is playing the part of the happy-go-lucky, sort of easy-going, I can go this way, guys, I can go that way, and he's fit enough to get through challenges. If he keeps smiling and keeps laughing, he could laugh his way to the end. I am a struggling stand-up comedian who is out here trying to win a million dollars. Nina's gonna have a very hard time out here, and it's unfortunate, but that's my guess looking at the rest of the group. She's gonna be the older woman who's a little rougher around the edges. She's not gonna panic. She's not gonna back down from anybody. She's certainly been in some high-pressure situations as a cop. I just hope for Nina that the women give her a chance to just breathe and maybe see what qualities she can bring. Colton is a super fan. I had a birthday party when I was 10 that I only invited 15 other people just for the sole purpose that we could play Survivor. And I like that and I think fans of the show will like it. Colton is just gonna have a hard time fitting in. He doesn't shy away from the fact that he's gay and he kind of puts a target on his back by often saying things like, I'm the only gay guy here. And he just reminds people there's something about me that's different. And that's never good in Survivor. Whether it's because you're too tall or too fat or too mean or too nice, Colton is going to have to relax or he's gonna be first out because he can be annoying. I like Sabrina a lot. Her energy is really likable. There's just a little mischievousness behind her that is really appealing. My strength is also my weakness, and that is my mouth. Sabrina is going to be liked by her tribe. I think she's gonna fit in, and I actually think Sabrina will make the merge, and after that, it will really depend on alliances and who's in charge, but I like her to go deep in this game. Dr. Greg, otherwise known as Tarzan, and by day three, he would not respond to Greg. Tarzan's biggest obstacle, and I've told him this many times, is going to be his ego. I am a superb surgeon. He's telling our doctor how to give him a physical. If you do the same thing in the game, you're not long for the game. I'm on the fence about Christina. I like her forcefulness. I'm not quiet. I'm not submissive. I know when to attack. I'm just not sure how well she'll blend. I think Christina's biggest task is going to be working on her social game and blending with the other women. I do think Christina's the type that could form an alliance early and it would probably be a devilish alliance and could do a lot of damage if it got some momentum. If Tarzan wasn't enough, we have a Another Zan, Troy likes to be called. I am Troy Zan. Troy Zan looks like he should be on this show. He has the long hair, he's got the tan, he's fit, and he's got a great attitude. This show was created for me. His super fan knowledge of the game, he may have to temper that, and if he can, I think he could get a good alliance and be in there for a long time. My take on Alicia, she'll either be out very early or she will find herself in an alliance probably mixed with men and women and make it deep. She's a huge flirt. Back home, they call me the kissing bandit. <laughs> She has no problem talking about sex with guys or walking around in her underwear or using her booty. Show it to a guy if she can get some fire from She doesn't care. That'll get you a ways in this game. But when you're on a tribe full of women, I think you have to be careful that the other women don't start going, huh, been spending a lot of time with the guys. Don't like it.
you're gone. Jonas is a sushi chef and he does sort of have that zen quality that you would think somebody working with their hands and fish would have. He could go with these guys and fit in or he could go with this group and fit in. And if he can just pick a group and get in with them, I think he could last a long time because I think he might miss some of the bullets flying. Courtney's one of the more unique people in the game this season. And it's not just because of how she looks with all her tattoos and her quirky sense of style. It's also I think her point of view toward life. That can really work for you in this game. Oh, it's just Courtney. She's a little different anyway, so she's fine. Or on a group of women, you could find yourself with people going, I don't get her. She's different than me and she's kind of quirky. Let's get rid of her. I'm on the fence about Matt. I can't tell if he's got any hero in him at all. He'll tell you he's a hero. On Survivor, I think Matt is probably going to come off condescending and misogynistic. And given that he's now going to be living on one beach with all the women and all the other guys, Matt could find himself out of this game much faster than he would ever guess. On the flip side, if Matt gets into a good alliance with three or four strong guys, it doesn't matter if he's likable or not. They could run the game and he could make his way to the end. Chelsea is made for this game. She is fit. She comes from a country background. She can shoot a gun. I'm really big into spear fishing and scuba diving, so I hope to maybe impress them by going out and catching fish. First thing she asked me is, what's the record for the biggest fish that's ever been speared? Because I want to break it. You're on. If this game plays the way it's meant to be played, Chelsea should be there deep in the game. She's likable, she's attractive, she's fit, and she's a hard worker. And the men are certainly going to want to keep her around. I think Leaf is going to be somebody that people root for. He's clearly different than everyone else in that he's a little person, so he's smaller in stature, but he's huge in heart. I think my fellow castmates will really underestimate me. That's when they're in trouble. <laughs> he's got to play up the fact that I'm a little different. So keep me around, give me a chance, and then do what he does best, which is play Survivor. What's working against Monica is Monica. She's 41 and more fit than probably anybody else out there. She comes from a family that's steeped in athleticism. Her husband, an NFL player. So Monica is gonna have to come in and be humble. Young people don't like to be told what to do. Especially from somebody beautiful and fit and successful and rich. So I'm gonna need to keep my ego in check. Monica's going to do well or not do well based entirely on how she plays the game. It's all up to them and it's all part of the game. And anybody who doesn't understand that is in trouble. Every single action you take in this game could come to help you or hurt you in the end.